Hey, everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, here we are with the Tech 21 Impact Shield for the Samsung Galaxy S4. So, yeah, let's check it out. So, I want to say a big thanks to Tech 21 for sending this in to me for the review. And what is it? Well, pretty much what it says it is, it's an Impact Shield. I've actually already got it on my device, and I've been running on there for about a week and a half, nearly two weeks now, so I've given it a good old test. Um, and I'm just going to show you what you get inside the box today and give you my thoughts on it. So, if you want to read that there, it's got BASF, which is bullet shield protection, as used in bulletproof glass. So yes, this screen protector, yes, that's it, a screen protector has got bulletproof materials in there, which I thought was pretty crazy. I just want to have a read some of the other stuff. Jump on to the back. Again, if you want to read through all this norm, normal stuff you can do, I'm going to go check them out, impactology.com. And it's for Tech21 on YouTube, Twitter, etc. And you get a one-year warranty. So I'm just going to take it on, I'm going to show what you do get inside the actual box itself. So let's pop the box off to the side. So just it's just to show you that I have actually I've actually been running one on. So I was sent two of these. So it's just the uh, the old packaging. So what you get is your cleaning cloth and your squeegee. You don't really need to use a squeegee with this one. I, I didn't really use it. But cleaning cloth just helps you clean your device and the actual screen protector itself. Anyway, that's pretty much it. If one of uh, a read of this as well, then you can do it, just telling you how to actually install it, but it's pretty straightforward, it's just installing it as you normally would. And what do I think about it? Obviously this is the main aspect of it, is it a good screen protector? Now the screen protector itself is actually designed to take impacts, so it's the reason why it's got the impactology. So it's not designed to take scuffs and you know kind of scratches, um, my buddy Jared's also reviewed this one. It's designed to take kind of impact to the screen. Now, obviously, I could do that with regards to not having a screen protector on there. But if you were to drop this on the floor, effectively, what this screen protector is here to do is to stop your screen scra um, actually cracking. So it's not designed to take the big scratches, and it's never going to scratch like a lot of them would do. It will get scratched. Now, don't know if you can see that. You see those three little, three or four little dots. I kind of show you. You can see it a bit better there. Now, they were done um, by using a knife. So I'm gonna show you today, obviously with a gas knife, and obviously just dabbing it, just as those little little kind of pit marks. Now, on most screen protectors, it probably would do that. So it's probably not you know, a massive problem, but as you can probably see, there's quite a few of them there. Obviously, if you try and wipe them where they don't disappear. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not adding to the actual, You know, I'm not saying it's a bad screen protector, it's just not designed to take scratches. It's designed for the impact of it more than anything else. And all in all, the screen protector itself feels lovely. It does kind of get a you know, couple of you know, kind of marks here or there in terms of the actual protector. Um, and it's not amazing at the like an oleophobic coating. I don't believe it's got one. So it's not the best in terms of that. You know, so you will have to give it a good old wipe with regards to that. But I'm just going to give it another bit of a scratch test, obviously, with this knife here. Because I've got another one, so I can always put the other one on. So it's just to show you, you know, obviously, you're not going to take a knife to your phone most of the time. But will this actually protect it underneath it? That's the main thing. So, let's have a quick look. So as you can probably see, got quite a few bad scratches there. And I'm hoping that my screen underneath there is going to be fine. So we're going to take the screen protector off it. And we're going to see if it's fine underneath it. Because obviously you're not really normally going to get these kind of scratches on your screen. And you're not going to take this kind of knife to it. But I'm hoping that underneath the screen protector, my screen's going to be completely fine. So let's take it out of the actual case. If you want to see this case review, we'll have the uh, review on my channel. should be up probably tomorrow, maybe even the same time as this video. So, let's see if we can take the screen protector off. Right, so here we go. I'm just going to pull that off. And as you can see, underneath the actual screen protector, it's completely fine. So even though, yes, the screen protector itself has taken all those scratches and whatnot, it's perfectly fine underneath it. And you can, yeah, you can kind of feel it just about to try and come through here. But to admit, I did press pretty hard, and as you can probably tell, that's a pretty sharp knife. So if you are worried with regards to having a screen protector, for two things, number one, protecting it against scratches. You can always buy another one of these, you can't always, well, you can buy another screen, but it's going to cost you a hell of a lot more than another screen protector. But yeah, it's going to take the scratches, and effectively, this one is designed to take the impact on the screen as well. All in all, I've been very impressed with it. A solid screen protector, 
that give you good protection. And again, the main aspect of it is that impactology. If you want to go check out some more of the Tech 21 stuff, I will put a link in the description. If you want to go pick this up again, link in the description to go buy one of these. Anyway, people, what do you reckon? Do you think it's a good idea having these kind of screen protectors? You know, I always thought the idea of a screen protector in the past was to stop you scratching your screen. But effectively, we've kind of moved on. Because nowadays, it's about protecting the screen, not cracking. Because let's be honest, they're a lot more prone to cracking now than they've ever been due to the size of them. And that's what the screen protector is there to do. Anyway, people, that's it. If you've got any questions regarding this or anything else, as always, leave those comments down below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Sam J. Pullen. Please do go out for take that like button. It is very much appreciated. And subscribe for more. I think it's here or here. One of the two places. Anyway, people, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers, everyone.